ongoing or inspection programs. An inspection program should clearly outline what needs to be inspected, who will be involved, how often the inspection should be performed, and who is responsible for corrective actions and follow-up. The results of the inspection program will provide information on whether the hazard assessment requires review, preventive maintenance programs are effective, and employer training programs are adequate. When developing an inspection program, consider the following. Specifically identify what needs to be inspected, the results of a formal hazard assessment and hazard control process can be used to determine what equipment and work sites will need to be inspected. Also, check OHS legislation to determine if there are any specific inspection requirements relevant to your work. Include a regular frequency for inspections inside your inspection policy. The frequency will determine the nature of the employer's business, but it is recommended that work sites be inspected at least once a month. Determine who will be assigned the responsibility to conduct inspections. This will vary depending on what is being inspected. In general, worksite inspection tours will be performed by a team, and inspections of a piece of equipment can be done by an individual competent worker. Hey everyone, if you have any questions regarding health and safety or the topic just discussed, contact your Goal Zero Safety Rep or your supervisor. Or drop us a line on any of our social media channels or an email at info at goalze.ro.